Welcome back, Philly fans. It's a great week to be an Eagle. Remember, if you're new here, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Click that subscribe button and definitely turn on those notifications. That way you get all these Eagles recap videos. And without wasting any time, guys, let's just hop right into it. Coming off a nice win against the Bills. Energy's feeling good. Back at home. We're going to have a blackout game. We got guys coming back that are healthy. Deshaun Jackson, Darren Sproles, Tim Jernigan, Avante Maddox. So, yeah, I'm feeling good, pumped up, ready to go. Last time we faced the Bears, it was a double doink game. Three-yard attempt from the right hash mark. And, oh, he hits the upright again. That's impossible. And the Eagles run out into the field, but there's still five seconds. Bottom line, it doesn't go through upright. It looks like it bounced off the crossbar as well. Oh, my goodness. The Bears' season's going to end on a double doink. One unbelievable. How many times can they hit the upright? Five. So we started off on defense. I thought our defense came out strong. We were forcing three and outs right off the bat. Really no surprise against kind of a weak Bears offense, but I thought the defense looked pretty good. We were aggressive, only allowed nine yards in the first half, and that was pretty impressive. We did miss a couple big explosive plays in the second half, the biggest one being Gabriel's 53-yard catch on Jenkins. Trubisky on play action, and he's going to go deep, and there's a receiver there, and he's got... Taylor Gabriel. Overall defense, they, they played well, don't get me wrong, but I just felt that th there was, you know, no real standout plays, nothing, nothing really grabbed my attention. That offense was way too weak for us not to make some bigger plays, I thought. But like I said, overall, everybody played good. They played well as a team, as a unit, just nobody made any big standout plays. Fletcher Cox was doing pretty good, moving the offensive line around. He played well. Gary was the leading tackler. He had five tackles. Graham and Sweat both had sacks. Trubisky with an empty backfield and a lot of receivers on first down from the 25. Nowhere to go, and he's sacked. Back at the 22-yard line. And even uh, the new addition, Jannard Avery, he got in uh, and got part of a sack, I believe. Uh, I think he split that with Jenkins, maybe. So he got in there, uh, got some action right away, so that was good to see. But overall, like I said, I thought they played pretty well. Just nothing super um, outstanding and highlight-worthy, really. Just everybody just played pretty well and, and did their job, played their role, and protected the house today. All right, guys, so let's talk about the offense. All right, so what do we do right away? First thing on offense, we go right to Deshaun Jackson, right? Pass however was incomplete. They called a pass interference on the play. Uh, a couple plays later, he ended up getting a catch for five yards, and then he was taken out of the game. All right, so Wentz completes his 12th straight game with a touchdown pass. Um, he only had one today, um, but he still continues that streak. Zero interceptions again. He was 26 for 39, 239 passing yards. Not the greatest game. A couple passes that he did uh, leave out there that uh, he even mentioned in the press conference that he'd like to have back. We we're going to make a move. We had that nice drive. The first two drives we come out and we push the ball down the field and we can only come up with a field goal. We really need to capitalize on those opportunities and, and get touchdowns out of those. Zach Ertz balled out today. He had nine catches. Down and two. Wentz. The pass is caught to his favorite receiver, Zach Ertz. The tight end was open. I believe he tied his season high with that. 103 yards. He caught a touchdown pass. Wentz with play action. Drills it and it's caught by Zach Ertz and he's in for the touchdown. No. Yes, touchdown. Tony was down by. Great game for Zach Ertz. He was all over the field catching balls today. They did a good job trying to spread the ball around targeting everybody. I think we targeted eight receivers today. Ertz, Sanders, Aguilar, Jeffrey, Goddard, Jackson, Sproles, Howard. Jordan Howard continues to be a workhorse running the ball. He had 82 yards today and a touchdown. It's a bit of the tight ends. And here is Jordan Howard up the middle. Touchdown. Made it look easy that time. Glad to see that. Offense really controlled the clock today. 40 minutes, 18 seconds. The Bears only had it for uh, 19 minutes, 42 seconds. Red zone, we were 50% today, two for four. I would have liked to see uh, that a little bit better, at least three out of four. Um, we had eight penalties, 75 yards against us. Still having issues with drop balls, drop passes, miss passes. We gotta clean that up. That's been a problem that's plagued us all year. We gotta grab the ball. We gotta go after it. We gotta get the ball to where it needs to be uh, on both ends. So, like I said, sometimes it's it's on Carson. Sometimes it's on the receivers. So we gotta connect that better. Um, we're we're good, nice and short, but that mid range to deep, we gotta connect better on those. All right, guys. My final thoughts on the game. 
overall, this win was it was an ugly win, but I'll take a win. It's the NFL. We go week to week, 1-0. So we'll take this one for sure, but it was ugly, ugly, ugly. If we want to uh, make a move and make a run, we definitely got to improve. I think we... We left a lot of things out on the field today. And in order to beat the Patriots, we gotta make those plays, we gotta execute, we gotta make things happen. We gotta get the energy going, we gotta push the ball. Uh, Cause when we do that, there's there's glimpses here and there where it looks like we're gonna start rolling and something happens and we lose our steam. So um, I really think the offense is just a play or two away from, from being a really good explosive offense. We just gotta get a, a little bit more in sync. We're just not quite there yet. Got some tough games ahead of us. We definitely gotta get the ball rolling here. Pieces of the puzzle are starting to come together. So if we can get this machine oiled up working running smooth um, we could be we could be dangerous we're almost there guys we're, we're we're not too far off we can definitely make a push all right guys let me know what you thought about the game you can do that by commenting below and again make sure you click that thumbs up button hit that subscribe button definitely turn on those notifications that way you can stay up to date with all these eagles recap videos again i appreciate you guys watching until next week guys fly eagles fly peace